All right, welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man back in the studio, and today we've got another completed commission. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, and some Horus Heresy content as well. We do at least one video every single day. Reactions, reviews, news, painting, modeling, conversion, tutorials. And of course, we are a commission-based studio, so we show off our commissions as they leave the studio. So here we have an expansion commission for some Adeptus Custodes. Uh, so we have previously done a full army commission for one of our clients, and that client requested an expansion uh, to fill out the force. Uh, so at this point in time, he will have a massive army of uh, very nice looking custodes. Uh, so here we have everything finished up. We have six additional Dawn Eagle jet bikes, uh, Veritus Praetors, and then we have 10 of our Sagittarium Guard. And we also have some various basic custodes, uh, three with the spears, six with sword and board. And then we also have a single warden with axe, as well as a blade champion who has his head and weapons magnetized. And of course, these models are featured on our custom ruined temple style bases. Uh, if you are interested in making some of these bases for yourselves, uh, we have many tutorials on how to make them using all Games Workshop components. And uh, they are painted in our cool white contrast armor uh, with gold and silver highlights. And then for the accent color, uh, we have that really nice icy blue. Uh, so that being said, let's take a closer look at what we have here today. All right, so first and foremost, we have the Blade Champion. He is magnetized so that the helmeted head can be swapped for the bare head. And then also the single two-handed sword can be swapped out for the two individual swords as well. Um, we'll show that off in just a minute here. We have a video tutorial on how to do those magnetizations for yourself. Uh, if you haven't checked that one out, highly recommend it uh, if you're interested in doing something like this yourself. So for the white on these models, uh, we have used the Games Workshop Apothecary White Contrast Paint. And then next we have our gold, which is the Retributor Armor, and then Reichland Flesh Shade. And then we've brought up the accents with some brighter golds as well. For our silver, we have Lead Belcher, again with the Nullin Oil wash over the Lead Belcher. And then, of course, we bring that up slightly brighter as well uh, with our silvers. And then, of course, we have the blue is the Talisar Blue Contrast Paint. A couple of thin layers of that. And then some slight highlighting uh, with a mix of that blue and some slighter light tones as well. And then, of course, for the sword... Uh, we have also used the green contrast paint for that one as well. And then for the eyes, we have done the uh, kind of bright glow with Tesseract Glow for the eyes. And now uh, let's take a look at how he is magnetized. So for the weapons, we have added two magnets into the arms. And then they basically just slide in place so you can reuse the shoulder pads. And of course, the magnets are applied inside of the torso. And then we can swap between weapons as well. And same thing for the head. We have magnetized it at the neck so you can swap out the head also. All right, so here we have the alternate look for him uh, with the two single blades and the bare head. And then, of course, we can do any combination of the helmet, bare head, and then, of course, either the double or single weapons. A uh, very cool model and obviously really enjoy how this guy came out. It was my first time painting one of these, and he is a very, very cool model. Tons and tons of detail, and I do love the options that came with the kit. And next we have just a regular old custodian guard here with the sword and shield. Uh, again, the same paint job, same colors and everything. Uh, just designed to match the army. Uh, very look, nice looking models right here. Absolutely love custodes, and they love contrast paints because they have so many details built into them. Uh, the contrast paints really just set it off. And here we have one of our custodes as well with the spear. And you'll notice that the uh, casing of the spear itself is done with the black Templar contrast paint. And then again, all of the same colors. Uh, very important to get that bright eye glow. And then also to get that cool kind of emerald look on the weapons as well. And if you are curious about any of the paints or you missed it, uh, there will always be a list in the description of the paints and what is used to basically shade and highlight them as well. And next we have our Custodian Warden with the axe. 
And again, this is just to finish out a squad that was already done for the client. Just one additional model. And here we've used the Gulliman Flesh for the skin tone. And then for the hair, we have used the... And then for the hair, we use the Snake Bite Leather Contrast Paint as well. Uh, very cool models. And again, great detail. And they look phenomenal painted up. And here we have our Sagittarium Guard. Here is the first of 10. Uh, very, very cool models. Obviously, they use the regular Adeptus Custodes bodies. And then you just add on the additional bits from Forge World, uh, which is basically just the arms and their special bolters. Uh, and these are very, very cool models. I absolutely love how they look. And they have the option for their cool helmets or for a couple like squad leaders. Uh, we use the bear heads as well. And here we have one of the basic troopers from the 10 men. This one has the traditional helmet. Very cool helmets actually too. Uh, initially wasn't a huge fan of them. Uh, but once you paint them up and see them on the table on the model. Uh, they actually do look really nice. And again these helmets come with the Forge World upgrade kit as well. And then of course here we have one of our crowd favorites. The Vertus Praetor jet bikes. Again on the custom Ruin Temple style bases. And then of course we have once again uh, we use that Tesseract Glow to get the glowing screen there. And as we kind of rotate him around, we'll see he has the little screen as well on his arm. And then you can see the actual screen on the bike also. And again, same paint scheme overall. Uh, wonderful looking models and obviously very, very cool. They look great finished up. And most importantly for transport abilities, uh, to make sure nothing gets broken because obviously the stems break very very often inside of the models and then you have to repair them or the actual lances uh, break off as well uh, in this case we just magnetize them so that is not an issue so for easy transport and storage and then also you can reposition them as well that is magnetized and then of course we magnetize the stems of the bike also and that way we, we can move them around we can store them uh, we can use them however we need but without risk of breaking, of course. And that is our Vertus Praetor jet bike. Uh, some of my absolute favorite models. I have to say the Adeptus Custodes line is absolutely phenomenal. The amount of detail in these models is stellar. Uh, one of my favorite armies to paint, to collect, and of course to play as well. And of course, we provide the missiles and bolter options as well, uh, so you can have your choice. They do just push fit in place and can be removed and swapped if need be. So there we have it. That is our Adeptus Custodes expansion commission, uh, including quite a few models. And uh, everything is done with our same combination of paints for that awesome white armor, the gold and silver accents, as well as our blue for the cloth and mains. And then, of course, our green for the weapons as well. And then we have the glowing green eyes and screens, magnetization of the Blade Champion, as well as the Virtus Praetor jet bikes. Uh, some of my favorite models. Obviously, everything came out absolutely wonderfully. The client has already seen these models and is very happy with them. So they will be safely bubble wrapped, packed up, boxed, and then, of course, shipped uh, out to uh, get them on the table as soon as possible and uh, grow our client's collection. And as always, we are absolutely grateful for each and every person that decides to source a commission through us. Uh, definitely appreciate all of the repeat business and our regular clientele, as well as all of the new clients uh, that we've picked up over time. So I want to thank each and every one of you because that makes all of this possible as not only does it allow us to have this awesome channel, uh, that we can show off all these models and do all our other cool videos, uh, but also helps to pay the bills and, uh, you know, essentially allows us to make other people's dreams come true. So while you're working your regular job, uh, we are here painting up these awesome minis for you. Uh, so that being said, thank you all very much for all the new subscribers, all the new clientele. And uh, obviously, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe as it really does help out the channel and it's absolutely free. I, every day we put out at least one video, everything from these commission painting videos like this. We do all kinds of painting, modeling, and conversion tutorials. And then, of course, we do tons and tons of reactions, reviews, and news for Warhammer 40,000 
Kill Team, Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, and of course some Horus Heresy content. Basically, it, if it is Games Workshop, tabletop, game related, uh, we are into it. So uh, that being said, appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you all for all the kind words and support. Absolutely love the community that we are building together. Each and every one of you is a valued member of that community. Uh, so that's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And here is our Adeptus Custodes Contrast and Metallic Painted Commission Expansion. Uh, and that's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And I'm out of here.